Living with beta thalassemia, it's one hell of a journey. <laughs> I was diagnosed with beta thalassemia major when I was five months old. I wasn't eating, I wasn't sleeping, I wouldn't drink any milk. There was some discoloration because I needed blood, so I was getting like really pale and yellowy. And my mom, she just knew something was wrong. My early childhood, I didn't really understand it. My parents kind of would just tell me like, your body doesn't make enough blood, so you have to get, you know, blood transfusions to help you, you know, stay alive. And I mean, as a kid, when someone tells you that, you're like, what? I had some close friends, but I was very closed off. Kids were mean. They would be like, oh, can I get it? If you touch me, can I get it? So it was, it was hard, you know, sometimes I felt weird and I feel like I didn't fit in because I had this illness and it sucked not having friends and knowing people when I was younger. I think it would have made my journey a lot easier. I go three to four weeks without a blood transfusion, and once I hit that cap of three to four weeks, I can feel it in my body, so I get two units of blood, and then I get a medication. They give that to me, IV, it's four hours, and then I get my blood transfusion right after. It's a long day, it's like a work day. It's like eight to five, eight to six. That's my regimen right now, and then I take a lot of medications on the side, so I take a lot of iron key later. A few years ago, I was not very good with taking iron chelation, and I kind of just gave up. My health was taking a turn. I had to make a decision whether I want to nip it in the butt and be alive and do all these things that I want to do one day, or give up completely and just let myself go. If that's one thing I could change, maybe I should have been a little bit better. You know, maybe I wouldn't have to undo some of these complications I now have as an adult. If somebody was there to talk to me, had I been connected with more people or friends, things maybe would have been a little bit different. I try not to let thalassemia hold me back. I try to have a somewhat normal life. I'm a nanny, so I take care of two little ones and they keep me on my toes. I'm a girlfriend at home and I have fur babies and so I just go about my normal routine, have dinner, do all the normal things. But there is days where I don't feel good and, you know, I, I need my treatment or I'm just exhausted, but I just push myself. From my perspective of having thalassemia as a patient, I think we need more support. I feel like people don't know what thalassemia is. There's not a lot of awareness. There's more to thalassemia than just getting blood. You have iron overload, you get osteoporosis. There's always a worry, so sometimes that's frustrating. I think I try to have a good, positive attitude. I mean, I'm a happy-go-lucky person outside of this. What inspires me is making a difference. I love children so much, and so being able to use myself as an example and tell them the do's and don'ts and taking your medication and what to look forward to, that for me is making a difference. That's the biggest thing for me.